right here. This is a nice package from a friend, Brandon Carter. I wanna say thank you, brother. Look what he done sent me. Cigars from Cuba. Anybody got anything to say? Check that guy's body out. He smokes cigars. Yo, what up, what up? It's man, Big Brandon Carter. Going through these 48 laws of power. I don't know if I'm gonna go to all 48, but I will do the ones that I think are most beneficial to you, or the ones that have, that I that I uh, that resonate with me the most. And that's 16, man. 16 is a powerful one. Use a, use absence to increase honor and respect. Think about precious jewels or, or precious metals. They're expensive. Gold is expensive. Uh, diamonds are expensive. They're expensive because of their scarcity, not because they have any like real value. You know, like you can't really do anything with a diamond except for put it in a bubble. You know, <laughs> you can make a crystal. You can make a fucking fake crystal that look that shines brighter than the diamond. But a real diamond, its value is placed by value higher almost exclusively because of its scarcity. You know, think about the chick who has sex with every every guy. You know what I'm saying? You might still sleep with her, but if it has, if that has, is what? But then think about the chick who, who won't have sex with anyone, and but she does with you, right? You feel special, right? You feel special, <laughs> or it's like it's like yo, he got her, yo. He got that chick. Not the chick who got a different boyfriend every week, but that you can stay single. You know what I'm saying? Like, or, or even guys. You can use guys. I don't want. It, I don't want it to seem as a uh, sexist as, as it was sounded. <laughs> but like, they can just think about that, man. Like, for instance, if I, if I'm out of town right now, man. Me, white boy Brian, we out in LA doing some gangster shit. When I get back, when I get back to, L to New York, man, like I'm gone, I'm gone. I'll get back to New York with my girl. Like every time I leave, come back, she's like so happy to see me. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> of the absence, you know, like absence. What did you say earlier? Uh, familiarity breeds contempt, but absence makes the heart grow fonder. Mm. Mm. Say that again. <laughs> familiarity breeds contempt, and absence makes the heart grow fonder. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. When Elliot Host left YouTube, right? People first when the first when he first stopped posting. You he, people were commenting all on my channel, yo, when's Elliot coming back? You know, then like people were fiending for it. Then he was gone for a while. And then he came back. People was everyone's there, people were hype. You know, then people were fucking hype. And then uh, I actually text I actually texted him a picture of this fucking uh, <laughs> of the, the the 48 law and he started laughing. But yeah, man, I mean, think about your favorite uh, some uh, artist or a band or a singer stops he or she or they stop making music for a while, then they come back out. Bam, it's like a big deal when they come back out. Even like dumb shit like the fucking McRib, right? <laughs> people get hype about the McRib when it comes out. Nobody, people, like I know people who don't go to McDonald's for they don't go all year. But when the that McRib comes through, they're like, "Yo, I got, I got, I'm going ahead and get me one of them McRibs." It's, it's sometimes just because of scarcity. You know, scarcity. You know, when you when you, even even just like any, you know, anything about economics. Uh, if you when when uh when you flood the market with the product the 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 price the, the price goes down circulation too much circulation decreases the price right like uh when that when the animals when there's less of an animal and they're endangered they get protected you can't you can't mess with their homes you can't uh you can't hunt them. You can't eat them. Like they, they go out of their way to protect this animal because of the scarcity, right? But uh, when there's too many deers in Wisconsin, they're urging people to go hunting, right? Hmm. <laughs> For real. They, 
uh, I, it, I know this girl. I, I have a friend, and she's a stripper. And what she said she would do is she wouldn't just strip at the same club all the time. She would go, she would always be traveling to different cities. So it'd be like, oh, it's a new girl. You know what I'm saying? It's a big deal. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when she got old, when it got old it's, it's in Miami, and she'd go to Houston. And when it was old, and when, you know, she's been in Houston for too long, now she's in uh, Vegas. Vegas. LA, whatever, wherever, wherever the host. But she said, yeah, it's like, because she like she's new there, you know, it's novel, but she's there, but the, but that chick was there all the time. It's like, oh, man. Princess here every night. <laughs> but, but desire, desire is new. Oh, desire is back. Oh, shit, we need to go to King of Diamonds. <laughs> Those are great stripper names. <laughs> Anything that's limited edition, people brag about it. Yeah. You know, oh, I got this. Yeah, they, there's only there's only five left, and I got one of them or right, whatever. They only know. do like some of, like when there's, those Jordans come out, those, those, they don't they only do a little bit a, few, a certain number of them. Kids line up around the store like every day, every time they cause kids spend the night for these Jordans because there's only a few of them and then they, they only let you buy two one or two pairs right they they limit they, they put a, a cap on how many you can buy and they do that that's all listen Nike can have those kids in Taiwan making as many Jordans as they want <laughs> but they deliberately they deliberately keep the volume low to increase the value you know uh, scarcity, scarcity, scarcity increases value. I mean, that's basic economics, man. You flood the market with something, the price is going to plummet. If, if, if the market, if, if, if there's, yeah, anybody, that's basic fucking economics. So how does that pertain to you as a motherfucking person? If you always call in that shit. You're always uh, around, or you, you can't get, you know, then she might end up taking you for, for granted, you know. <laughs> but I'm not saying you have to pull tricks or like manipulate it, but like maybe you should just have some other shit going on. Maybe you should li- really be too busy. And then when you are around, she cares, man. She appreciates you a little bit, you know. Like when I get back to New York. You know, it's going to be a big deal. You know, candles, candles going to be lit and shit, you know. <laughs> yeah, and you're not playing games. Yeah, I mean, like, you're out here pursuing, yeah, you know. I didn't say, yeah, man, let me just uh, get away. That's what people always think the 48 Laws is about, manipulating people. But it's really just about, it's basic. It's like, it's like it's more just psychology is the way things are. You know, it's like you can either be aware of the way things are or not. But that doesn't change the fact that they are the way they are. It's like evolution. Like you can believe in it. You don't have to believe in it, but that doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> you know, you don't have to believe in fucking gravity. But that doesn't mean that doesn't make it not true. You know, that doesn't invalidate it. Exactly. So that yes, yeah, forty-eight laws, man. Like it's not about manipulation. I mean, it can be, but it's like a knife. A knife could be used to to, to slice a motherfucker's throat or it can be used to, to cut food up that, that you use to feed homeless people or whatever, you know, like that's neutral. The laws are neutral. It's how you use them. This fire is neutral. We can use it, to, we're using it now to warm ourselves. We can use it to cook, to prepare food, to nourish our body. Or I can use it to burn this whole motherfucking place down, right? None of it is fire's fault. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> how you you how I use it is how I use it Dep- depends on uh, determines if it's good or bad. And same thing with these forty eight laws. So yeah, you can use this to manipulate people for sure, and it will work. Or you can use it to not be manipulated. Or you can use it just to be aware of the way things are, so you know what's happening and understand why it's happening, and things don't seem so fucking random to you. So,
So now you understand why the girl, why you're sweating the girl is not caught returning your calls <laughs> or, or returning your texts. But you're ignoring the chick who's sending you uh, the emoji with the fucking heart in her eyes, you know, every day. <laughs> you understand why, you know, it's, it's, and you can act according, you can act however you want. You just, just be aware of that, you know, that you're placing value, inordinate value on her because of the scarcity. Or you're, you're placing, just, you know, and you can see when somebody says limited edition, it's a fucking, that's a tactic. Yeah. Unless it really is limited, unless it really is scarce. Like when we did the highlight shirts, like we really don't want to be in the business of printing and shipping shirts <laughs> when people ask for it. So it's like, all right, we'll do it for a week, right? It's, it's, it's less of a tactic to increase value. It's more just like we got other shit to do. But we'll do it because people ask for it, you know. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it did it did increase value when we and people, you know bought it but if we flood flooded the market with it you know it'd be i don't know man yeah, listen <laughs> like i do a video like every other i do like two videos a day right Flood the market, man. It's gonna be you know, so like so you can miss some of my videos you watching me and you will probably don't feel a big deal about it, right? But bro science put out a video. I've 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 fucking stopped everything to watch bro science video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, everything has to stop. I need fucking seven minutes to watch this fucking comedy, this this, this uh this parody of myself. <laughs> 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 and um but whatever, I still do videos every day because I enjoy it. You know? But I understand, I do understand it. If it was different, then it, you know, I'm aware of it. But instead of using it to manipulate you, I just still do what the fuck I want. And I'm not saying he's manipulating. He puts a lot more effort in his videos than I do. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> that shit is scripted and edited well with, with fucking funny sh shit to go around with everything he says i'm just throwing shit i'm just throwing shit at the internet because i got some shit to say but you know what the fuck i mean college only letting so many people in people you know uh apply and compete right, and, and compete to get in man mm. if it was if everybody can go it wouldn't be a big deal Trying to relight it? Yeah. There you go. It's like that's like like about like fitness, man. Like it's, it's difficult. It's hard to put in that kind of work. It's, I, I get it, man. It is. I don't really even like training. People, if somebody got mad at me. I said that on uh, uh the boy uh, Keith. You know, bodies, uh, 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 page up there. I did an interview with him. I was like, I don't really like training that much. I just do it for the results. People got mad at me for saying it, but what am I and all these things? Uh, I hated every minute of training, but I, I, I figured I live like a champ. I train, I suffer now and live like a champion. So it's like, yeah, but if everybody loved it and everybody did it, <laughs> it wouldn't be special, right? Anything that's pays off with that kind of results isn't the process isn't fun nah it's not fun man I was gonna go when I went to college I was gonna go to I got accepted to Michigan State I got accepted to number 12 Michigan State and I was thinking I should go to Michigan State cause I'll be like one of the only black guys there <laughs> or a limited number limited number and I'll be more novel cause it's scary and all the girls who like black guys have that for me <laughs> That would have worked. I, I ended up going to Howard University instead. And, uh, but still, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, scarcity, man. Scarcity will increase. It, it's, you ever been to, like, a sausage fest? Like, a fucking party where there's, like, no fucking 
not enough girls there, but that one girl there, she instantly becomes way fucking hotter, right? Yeah. Like here in LA, man, it's beautiful every day. The weather's great. It never rains, but I, that's, that's an issue for them. But like, it's beautiful weather every day, right? And uh, last time we came in February, we were in February in New York, it was fucking so cold. It was like blizzards. It was, uh, it was ice everywhere, snow everywhere. It was so icy, so icy. And then we 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 come here. And it's like 70 degrees every day. And we, we were hype about this shit. And everybody here, they didn't really notice. You know, it wasn't a big deal for them. Oh, yeah, it's not supposed to be. But I valued it more because it's, it's rare. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I valued it more because it was rare. Me and we, we, we cared about it because it was rare. But it's like this every day. So it's just here. So like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> this is how it always is. <laughs> You seen these Kanye West shoes? Fucking ugly, man. But they only put up. They only make a few of them, like a certain number, and they all they always sell out. Then people selling them on eBay. You know what I'm saying? And they're not even fucking great to me. I mean, to me, but whatever. I'm not a fucking style like so what, what do I know? But I I I would wager if they made if there was an unlimited supply of those that the price would go down a little bit. Sure. Right? Am I right? Yeah. I don't know. It's like even fucking water here in California now is scarce. You know, it's like scared of this drought. So now they're putting their there if you if you now they're putting a lot of value on it. You they won't even give every restaurant we go to, they won't give us water. We have to ask for it, right? Every uh I've I've heard that there are like houses that are using too much water, they're going around monitoring the the water usage. They don't do that shit in New York. We got plenty of water. <laughs> I'll leave the faucet on all day. It's just like, but because it because it's scarce. I mean, water's important. Don't get me don't get me wrong. I'm just saying now that it's scarce, it's placed that it's placed up here. You know, if it's every if in New York, man, summertime New York. Oh, you guys are out here. Yeah. <laughs> Kids gonna be opening fire hydrants and dancing and right every time, right? Yeah, every right. summer, man. Yeah. And so they, but you do that out here, your ass is gonna go to jail. So it's just like, yeah, scarcity. Hey guys. Oh. <laughs> what up? So that's Law 16. One of my favorites, man. Use absence to create honor, to increase honor and respect. Too much circulation makes the price go down. Scarcity, scarcity increases value. Basic economics that you can use in your life. You know, you know, you ever somebody, you know, one of your friends, your friends are with you all day. You might, yeah, I'll, I'll see him when I see him, right? But when we come to LA, motherfuckers like, yo, you gotta come through. You gotta be like, we can't even see all the motherfuckers we want. <laughs> we want to see because we're just not around like that. Not, not, but if we were here all the time, like, yeah, whatever. Anyway, use that. Learn that. I'll let you. <laughs>